not. Behavior is always in, an indicator of what you believe. Believe differently and you will behave differently. True belief makes you better. Hey, there you are. How you doing today? Hope you're well. Hope you're having a great day, a great, uh, great Tuesday. Hope your week's off to a great start. It's good to see you. Hey, hey, how you doing? Hey, hey, how you doing? Blessed and highly favored. Good, good. Hope your week is going well. Hope your week is going well. Hey, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hope you are doing well. Good afternoon. All right. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How you doing? Hey, do me a, uh, a favor and do me a favor and invite your people, invite your followers, invite your friends, those in your social network, those who follow you on Periscope. You can do so by tapping that little button right there. If you're on Android, swipe up. If you are on an Apple iPhone, you will be swiping to the right. So, hey, hey, what's going on, Joe? What's up? Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate that. Thank you for sharing. Hey, I appreciate that. Hey, the love is mutual. Thank you so much for, for your support. We uh, we try to serve as much as we can, and uh, so I appreciate that. Thank you for sharing. And today I'm going to be talking about behavior. It's important, behavior. Um, you know, I, I have something that I say all the time to our youth, and I say this. I say, behavior is always in indicative of belief. Behavior is always an indicator of what you believe, no matter how you try to change it. Um, it's an indicator of what you believe. And I believe that we make base decisions based on our beliefs. So check it out. If you're sitting down right now, you are sitting on that chair based on the belief that that chair is going to hold your weight up, right? And so you don't sit on a chair that looks like, uh, it's kind of broken, kind of raggedy, I don't know. Uh, you don't sit down on the chair. Why? Because you believe that the chair can't hold you. And I'm here to say that same with, uh, same with how you are, how you're designed to function. Your behavior is an indicator of what you believe. And so let's say you got, go to the doctor. Let's say you have some sort of sickness. You have... Uh, sinus infection and let's say that sinus infection isn't confirmed to you until you hear the doctor say okay well we you know tested you out and uh, seems like you have a sinus infection and so then they give you you know prescription for some antibiotics and you know some whatever they give you and you go and get that prescription filled and then you start taking it you actually start putting this stuff in your body now I'm not against medicine or prescriptions but I'm here to say that you take this little pill or you know whatever drink, whatever it is, you don't even know what's in there. You didn't create it. You didn't go behind the counter. You didn't watch them mix it up. So you take this little white pill based on what somebody else told you. And so I'm here to tell you that, um, that when you have that substance, you have that thing, and you're taking it, you're taking it based on the belief of what somebody else said. And so check this out. Your behavior on taking that that prescription medicine is based on your belief that it will help you out based on the belief that you have something that the doctor told you you have so we're designed to be able to behave in the way and in line with what we believe so check this out and I appreciate all of you all who are sharing right now thank you so much and if you're sharing if you're on here for the very first time my name is David Winston and I like to encourage people to become the best version of them I believe that God created all of us as amazing capable humans and, and individuals and beings and it's up to us to be able to work out that gift to be able to become the best version of what we can be and so check this out it says in proverbs pleasure to meet you it says in proverbs chapter 20 or proverbs chapter 4 verse 23 in the new living translation it says guard your heart above all else for out of it it determines the course of your life and so what happens is your heart is so important because when seeds go into your heart they're going to produce a behavior that reflects the things that are put in there isn't that powerful? And so when you believe something, you're going to behave it out. I say behavior is indicative of what you believe. And so check this out. Your belief system, your, your, 
your inside, you are wired so much so intricately to the point that what you believe, as you put it in your mind, you put it in your heart, what you believe, the only natural expression for you to be able to show what you believe is through your five senses. And your five senses don't even have an opinion about expressing it. It just expresses it. Because behavior is indicative of belief. Because belief is so strong, it's going to have to express itself in some kind of way. And so check this out. Your body, your brain is so powerful that what it really believes with conviction will work to bring to pass whatever you believe, even if it has to sabotage your own success. Let me give you an example. Um, let's take an uh, example of fictional person Mary. And let's say Mary is afraid of flying. She doesn't like flying. Um, and why is she afraid of flying? Because of harm. She's afraid of dying. She's afraid of something really tragic happening. And so let's say Mary is afraid of flying. And But let's say she gets a call. She lives in New York. She gets a call in Cali from California about a dream job that she's always wanted, that she's been praying for, that she's like, man, this dream job is awesome, pulling in seven figures uh, a year. This is, uh, this is the opportunity I've always wanted, and I'm going to be paid way more than I ever thought I could be paid. And check this out. They say, the interview's tomorrow, so we need you to hop on a plane and get here. Now Mary has a choice. Mary has a choice because she doesn't like flying. And so she has to fly, though. She has no other choice but to fly. But because of her belief, it indicates through her behavior what she's going to do. And so she doesn't like flying, and she chooses not to fly, and she misses out on that opportunity all because she can't get over her fear of flying. But check this out. She has never been in a plane crash. Mary has never been in a plane crash before. So what is her fear based on? It's not based on anything. It's based on her own preconceived notion that if I get on this plane, something bad is going to happen. So check this out. Her behavior was driven by her fear and her belief of something bad happening. And it made her miss an opportunity and sabotage her own success because of the belief that she has inside. And, and I'm here to tell you that it even goes that much deeper, that when you believe um, wrong things about yourself, you will behave according to those wrong things. Give you another example. I help a lot of youth and a lot of students, and I found out that the number one reason for bad grades, and I know, you know, sometimes people don't go to class or maybe they don't study and do homework, and, and that's, that's obvious. You can't make a grade in which you don't do work for but one of the number one, how you doing? Uh, number number one things that keeps kids from getting good grades is how they see themselves. It's up here, how they view themselves, their own confidence. And I've watched it time and time again, where when kids believe that they're stupid, they behave like they're stupid. And I don't believe any any kids are stupid. But I've actually watched kids who were bad in school and as we continue to encourage them and build up their confidence that I am smart, I can do it, I, I will do well, I, 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 you know, I don't have a mental handicap, I can think, then they actually begin to behave like they can do well and because they behave like they can do well, they actually start to try at a different level and then they start to make grades that are better that 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 indicate their internal behavior, the, the internal belief. And so I think you all understand and follow what I'm saying is that when they believe di differently, they behave differently. Now, on the opposite side, when they can't believe differently, it's like the behavior is hard to change. And so behavior is just indicative of what people believe. And so I've watched people, you know, they have that confidence. And as uh, the students have that confidence, they begin to do better, do better. And it's just kind of like a cycle. They see more results. They see A's and B's. And then they do better. And then they do better. And they see better. And they believe better. And it's just, it's a great cycle that happens. So I believe that, you know, that's important. Um, even my son, when I was teaching him, my, my, my youngest son, Joshua, when I was teaching him how to bike ride, he uh, he didn't like doing it because he didn't want to fall. <laughs> he He's not a big fan of uh, falling off the bike. And he was like, I don't want to fall. I don't want to fall. And I'm like, okay, I got that. But, you know, everybody has to learn. And so we're going down the driveway. I'm teaching him how to ride the bike. And so, you know, as, as the good dad, you're running behind your kid, like trying to like help them balance. And, uh, and so what he would do was he would actually, be riding on his own but he only wanted to ride little short spurts I mean he would go maybe 
10, 15 yards or maybe 30 feet and, and then just stop. Why? Because his behavior um, wasn't wasn't driven by what I wanted him to do. His behavior was driven by the belief that if I go too far, I'm going to fall. And so he would stop. He, he would he would stop from going too far. And I would tell him, Josh, you know, you, you're being your own worst enemy because the more you try to stop and the quicker you try to stop, the more likelihood, you know, chance you might have of actually falling. And so I, I continue to encourage him, you know, if you just ride, you'll find that you'll stay up and, and it'll be all good. And so what am I here to tell you? Napoleon Hill says this. He has an awesome book called The Law of Success. And he says, fears are nothing more than a state of mind. And so I'm here to tell you that you have to believe the right thing about yourself. You have to believe that you can do it, that all things are possible for you. It says uh, in, in the Bible, it says that you can do all things through Christ which strengthens you. And that, you know, if you, if you even want a biblical representation, um, we see in Matthew, or excuse me, Mark chapter 5, there was a woman with the issue of blood that kept saying to herself, if I could just touch Jesus, I will be made whole and I will be healed and check it out. As she kept saying that and she believed it, she behaved on that belief. And so as she believed it, she actually saw Jesus and she pressed her way to go touch him and she was healed of whatever issue she had. You know, she, she got a miracle and she was healed of that blood issue. Now, what drove her behavior to go grab the rabbi, the man of God? Well, the thing that drove her behavior was she believed. And because of belief, she behaved in a way that was able to get her healed. Uh, and so I believe that, you know, when you believe in yourself um, and you believe in God, great things happen. And I want to tell you, don't stop believing. Do not stop believing in what God can do with you and through you. Um, right belief is necessary for you to have the courage and strength to behave the right way. You know, um, it talks about in Proverbs chapter 23, verse 7, as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. And so as you think in your heart, so are you. And the things that are put in your heart, the most dominant thoughts that you have in your mind, you're going to play those out. You're going to behave those and, and you're going to see those things being manifested in your life. And even Jesus, think about this, even Jesus, he died on the cross because he believed that God would raise him back up again. And his behavior was such that because he believed it, he behaved like he believed it, and he decided to go to the cross because he said, you know, I believe that God is going to raise me back up. That took faith. That took belief. That took belief, and, and he, had to be, um, he had to be convinced enough that he could go through suffering and pain and, uh, and endure it. And so I'm here to tell you that when your beliefs and you know your behavior it doesn't line up it can cause some chaos to go in in your life and and you don't want that you want to believe the right thing and believe what god says about you it talks about in the bible it says in james faith without works is dead and so what you want to do is you want to believe the right thing and it'll lead you to do the right thing sometimes we have a challenge on our behavior and and how we want to act a different way i mean has anybody ever been there hit me with some hearts if that's you if you've ever been there that you want to act a different way but for some reason it seems challenging it seems hard like you know I'm, I'm not doing the thing that I wanted to do and uh, and a lot of times you know we got to go back to what our belief system is what does our belief system look like and um, and if we can believe the right thing and put the right things in our hearts then we can be able to behave the right way um, you know I'll say this um, people who I'll, I'll say this there's some people who are doing the wrong thing and really believe that they're doing the right thing. Um, you have different extremist groups. Um, you have groups like the KKK. Um, you know, they, they would burn crosses onto people's things and onto people's lawns. I mean, like they really believed that they were doing the right thing. They really believed that by these acts of hatred and violence, they were doing the right thing. And even though the belief was way wrong, it was way left, it didn't stop them from acting on what they believed because their behavior, as wrong as it was, it was just an indicator of what they believe. And I'm here to tell you, you can't separate what you believe from your behavior. And so if you want to behave in a different way, you got to believe something different. And when you believe something different, it'll allow you to behave in a different way. Fruit just tells the story of the tree. And so if, if the tree is what I believe, then it's fruit 
is behavior, it's going to match. I can't get oranges from an apple tree. I can't get lemons from an orange tree. It's all going to match. And so when I, I talk to students sometimes and I'll say, you know, fruit tells the story of every tree. And if you're having wrong fruit in your life, you're seeing the, the consequence of wrong behaviors and things, you're seeing wrong, um, wrong things in your life, it's fruit and it's telling the story of a tree inside of you. And that tree often is you know some some beliefs that we need to change and so uh so as you change your beliefs i believe it will help you change your behavior and that'll help you become a better you thomas aquinas said this he said to the one that has faith no explanation is necessary but to the one without faith no explanation is possible and so i believe that as you behave differently It'll help you, uh, or as you believe differently, it'll help you behave differently. And as you behave differently, you'll see different results in your life. And, uh, and it'll help you become the person that you really want to be. So make sure to do this for me. Share this with somebody. Encourage them to believe different and behave differently. And, uh, and as they behave differently, they'll see different things in your life and in their lives. And so remember, keep fear out. Fear is paralysis. It is not real. It is just meant to stop your progress. Fear is only designed to stop your progress. And often it is not based on anything real but your perception in here. And that's all it is. So make sure to share this with somebody else. I appreciate uh, y'all logging on. I appreciate all the hearts and all the love. Thank you so much. No fear here. That's right, Devin. No fear here. And so, um, so as you share this with somebody else, it'll encourage them. We'll do it again tomorrow. Remember, behavior is always indicative of belief. And, uh, and as you believe differently, you'll behave differently. Thank you guys for logging on.